friend of mine said, did you get a letter? And I said, a letter? And she says, yeah. And she goes, it's a very nasty letter. And so what are you talking about? Fran Fallender is talking about this four-page letter, a letter attacking former mayors Jack Bushy and Cliff Newlands, as well as newly elected mayor Ted Canicos. I don't know why people stoop to this level. It's incredible. The letter makes very serious accusations, stating former Mayor Bushy continues to use the N-word in public to this day. Anybody that has ever had the opportunity to visit the local coffee shop on any given weekday morning will get an earful. The letter goes on to say, unfortunately, Ted Canicos is a contributing member of this morning coffee clatch and is one of the worst offenders. WRDE met up with Canicos, who says he hasn't seen the letter and frankly doesn't care to. It's like a, a, a you know a baseball pitcher. He's going to read the next day what they're saying about him in the paper. It, 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 we don't need that, and it's so, it's so petty and it's just a rare thing. So I'll let it go by. A longtime Milton resident and former council member, Canicos says he doesn't let things like this affect how he feels about his community. World with neighbors. The congratulations, uh, winners, losers alike, everything turned out just a wonderful weekend, except for this little dumb stuff. But please, it's, that doesn't define us. As for former Mayor Jack Bushy, he could not be reached for comment. Now, a lot of residents who did receive this tell me that they either just ignore the letter or threw it away because they say that something like this does not belong in a nice town like Milton. Reporting in Milton, I'm Abby Smith for WRDE, Delmarva's own NBC station.